going on guys? Gary here with Rask Group. Back to another video. Today we're going to be doing kind of part of the, uh, I guess the old school-esque RAS YouTube video stuff where I kind of talk about a project a little bit. We'll go through it. This is kind of an initial introduction into the project. This is not a performance or promises review. This is not a final determination on the product. It is just kind of an introduction into something I thought would be uh, interesting to run and subsequently have. So, as you can see here, we have a handgun. This is one of the variations of the Lone Wolf uh, LTD, I believe. I think so. Yeah, LTD, maybe. I don't know, something like that. LWD, LTD, uh, 17s. Now, this is not a complete pistol that they offer direct from the uh, the factory. This is kind of a piece piece together type of thing between an upper and a lower. And I'll explain uh, kind of how I did that. So we'll start with the upper. Um, the upper was complete from Lone Wolf, as you can see here. It is a pretty G17 looking front serration slide. I have a port up here that corresponds to the barrel, so it is a true ported upper slide. Uh, Completion kit came with it, a slide cover plate, and the sights that are branded by Lone Wolf, but they're also, by, I believe they're made by Night Vision. That seems to be kind of uh, the uh, partner partner for sights when it comes to Lone Wolf. Um, I got that for about $280 on sale on their website. Pretty impressive. Um, complete upper, literally just needed a frame to throw it on. So... You know, obviously, had to go to Brownells. Shout out to Brownells. Use code BOP10 at checkout uh, for orders over $150 or more. It's good on majority of items on the site. Some stuff is excluded. It just, it is what it is. That's not Brownells' fault. That's uh, restrictions usually set by the manufacturer. So if you want to buy something and it doesn't work, uh, don't come and bitch at me about it. Now, I got this complete lone wolf frame for about 130 or 40 bucks off of Brownells. It's just a their uh, Lone Wolf's version of a G17 frame. And now we had a complete pistol in the neighborhood of, I want to say, what was it, like 400 and something dollars. Um, let's see, so like 410 bucks, right? Pretty impressive, especially when we're living in a time where kind of who can do the Glock clone the cheapest competition is kind of happening amongst companies. So... I was like, all right, well, this is kind of a, you know, I didn't invest a lot of money into this, but it's kind of a mid-level build. I'm going to use some mid-level accessories, so I invested in Enforce Wild 2, which I think is slightly underrated, um, having the metal body and construction and the still the, er the ergonomics of the pressure switches in my mind are, Enforce has always been kind of top of the list when it comes to that sort of thing. Um, other people can argue that. They can say that Enforce isn't as durable, that they don't have a, such a proven track record. That's fine. All I'm saying as far as right now, until I do like a more of an in-depth review on Enforce as a, you know, weapon light manufacturer as a whole, their switchology on their lights is within my top two by far. So Enforce Wild 2. Then went with the Hollow Sun 407C Green Dot. If the camera would focus, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't want to. That's fine. So, 407C Green Dot. Um, I felt like that was fair. So, I went out, zero, went to zero this optic. I was getting it slowly but surely dialed in, and under a, and we're in with well within a mag or so. And towards the end of that mag my Hollow Sun 407C, my 407C green dot decides to yeet itself off of my slide. Now, I'm pretty particular about using Loctite on absolutely everything. I'm pretty picky about making sure my stuff is secure. So I have Loctited the optic prior to this with a dab. The Hollow Sun screws came with a little bit of Loctite pre-installed. I figured we were good to go. Waited the 24 hour period, went out, went to zero. This was obviously a big deal. Um, that shit can't be happening. I didn't know if it was a fault of Lone Wolf and how they have their optic cut. I didn't know if it was a fault of Hollow Sun. But obviously this required some more uh, investigation, right? So through some research, I found a lot of people saying that Hollow Sun's hardware 
just isn't great. Um, multiple issues with it. Optics come loose. They don't stay with like the, the witness mark will be shifted within a low, low amount of rounds, all sorts of stuff. So I can't remember where I went. It's in the blog post though, but I went to this company. I just searched hollow sun for 07 C upgraded screws. I got a set of upgraded hardware for, I don't know, five or six bucks. Dropped it in, used three dabs of Loctite because I was pissed at this point. I've had zero issues since. So, let's see here. So, I don't know if you can see that, but no issues, right? So, but I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit. So, I did this, waited 24 hour period, went out on a Saturday, day before an IDPA match. Did a lot of work from concealment. Um, just reps and reps and reps, did some draw to first shots at varying distances to try to figure out kind of what my processing time was like, did some doubles for a series of distances, worked some build drill variations, and no issues. Optic didn't budge, witness marks didn't become unmatched. Pretty good to go. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Ultimate test. We're going to take it to IDPA. So I proceeded to take this gun to IDPA the, the next day. Shot three stages with it. Um, I don't think stages on IPA are like super long. They're usually pretty low round count. But that, nevertheless, it performed flawlessly. I used it, ended up winning the match. Um, for my friends that are listening to this, Matt, if you watch this video, the only reason that I typically win IDPA matches is because people, like my buddy Matt, completely bomb a stage for reasons that are unknown like um skipping over a target that you shouldn't have skipped over stuff like that um that's usually why I, I end up winning most of my idpa matches is because matt makes like a boneheaded mistake but other than that this gun had no oh, i mean not other than that but anyway this gun had no issues right sorry i'm getting off on a little bit of a tangent here so 100% believe it's a hardware issue with Hollow Sun. They should really check that out on that side of the house. Not a problem whatsoever. So overall, um, what do I like about this gun? I think the port is like a weird version of a chunk port. Um, I think it's effective though. I mean, dot doesn't leave the window within seven to 10 yards on doubles. And, and I mean, I'm not the fastest shooter in the world, but I can split usually sub twos um dot never left the window port was doing its job cool uh triggers kind of kind of sucks so kind of a lot of mush and take up break reset short and very tactile though which i like that's good um so a trigger is kind of love-hate. I hate the first part of it. I like the second part. I like that this frame comes pre pre-installed with a magwell. That's pretty rad. Um, ergonomics of the controls are pretty good. Like they're on par with a factory Glock. Grip texture on these are much better than the the original Lone Wolf frames. Um, however, I still think a Gen 5 texturing is better overall. It's kind of the same like dot pattern, but I believe the Gen 5s are a little bit more concentrated. Um, I think if they were just, that was a little bit rougher, this would be this would be a, a real shooter. Um, again, I could run this with confidence at this point, um, at least like on the range. For carry, it's gonna be another story, but like using this gun kind of consecutively for challenges, drills, standards, whatever, I could. I feel like I could make this gun work for that. Um, really guys, that's pretty much it just for this first initial impression of this gun. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of it. I think Lone Wolf has kind of slept on. They were one of the OGs in the aftermarket Glock game. So respect where respect is due. Like they kind of set the tone for a lot of other companies. A lot of people still use their barrels. They make barrels for a lot of people still. Um, so Lone Wolf, you know, I don't think all their stuff is great. I think this combination of parts is a, is a, is a winner though. Um, by all means, check them out, see what they got, see if there's anything you're willing to try. But overall guys, it's never the gun, right? And that's kind of what this proves is my main jam is still off getting some work done to it. Very excited to get that back hopefully soon. But 
it's never the gun, it's never the arrow, it's always going to be the Indian. Um, train effect, train as much as humanly possible, train effectively, train with a purpose. You know, don't go to the range and range just mag dump for absolutely no reason. You know, go there with a plan in mind, work the plan, figure out what you need to work on, and go from there. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by to watch the video. Be by all means check out the blog post. I'm pretty stoked for that. That was a pretty one of my better write ups in my opinion. I know this is a little bit of a rambly video. I'm gonna hopefully not make this 11 minutes long. So guys, stay safe, stay trained, stay rad. I'll be back with the next one.